Not bad. Yes. Not good. How did you do that? Do what? Make this coffee drinkable. Well, you are looking at the regional barista champion. And you work here? No offense. <laughs> what is up with Madison? She looks almost clean again, but just dirty enough. Yeah, ever since she moved in with Astrid, she's gone back to normal. Uh-uh. That girl is not normal. She's all new and tingly. You know what? Make this to stay. Your view has improved. Simon, no, you're doing fine. Look, it's okay. Look, just stay in the back and make sure you shoot from back here, because anywhere else and you're probably going to die. So, right, Astrid, how are things with you and Dean? I mean, we're totally just chill about everything. Like, yeah. it's just fun to have somebody who's nice to go out to places with. Yeah? Everybody seems to think he's some kind of man whore, but I really don't think he is. I, I really think Debbie just hurt him. Glenn, have you ever had elf sex? Yeah, she's a whore. In, in the game? Or for real? Both. What's the right answer? Anything. I don't know what he ever saw in her. I do. Glenn, that was actually a really good roll. You've actually killed these guys back here. Awesome. One shot. Have you been noticing the way that Lydia has been acting around there? Hit target to target. That's so Line smart. Sign. See, that's the way to do it. That's what I'm saying. Oh, maybe. The way to get Sam off your back is to give Lydia a little nudge. I don't think you could nudge them any closer. Not closer. Deeper. What? What? You moved game night? Rich, you are no longer welcome in Fantasyland. We have a new dungeon master now. We had fun. We were pals. Rich, ever since you became customer of the week, you've been treating everyone like shit. More than usual. Especially Madison. You're mean, you're rude, you're degrading, and you made her read Leo's manuscript. Wait, you made... you made Madison read my manuscript? I wrote it and even I'm appalled. Even though it was really awesome. Right, Madison? Right? That... Well, that's it. They're cut off. I want them cut off. No more food, no more drinks, no more, no more bathroom breaks until they let me play. We had a feeling you'd be implementing sanctions, so we stockaded some supplies. Play D&D &D with me. Go to hell. How about AD&D? &D? I don't know what that is. It's the same thing, but advanced. Advanced Dungeons & Dragons? Yes. That doesn't sound like It's like AP Dungeons & Dragons, without the P. That doesn't sound like any fun to me, I'm sorry. More fun. Oh, dude! Maybe if you spend more time baristaing and less time pyramid scheming, you'd be able to make a decent cup of coffee. It's not me, man. It's those new beans. Madison's the only one that can brew a decent cup of coffee. She's like the bean whisperer. Hey, Madison, make me a cup of coffee. Ben just made one. See, that's the problem. He tells me that you have the magic touch. And if you ever want to practice, you can just come over to my place. I grind my own. Mm, that doesn't surprise me. I'll just be over there watching you. Leo, I've been helping you. Helping me? You are going to stab that green scepter into my back. It's just the figurine. We're it's... all on the same look, team. Look, look, look. I just don't like it when a blonde guy is behind me and he's about to put his green phallus in me. Sorry, Gary. Oh. Sorry. Lydia. Oh, thank God. Leo. There's really nothing to be afraid of. You like green phalluses? Every color's pretty great. Yeah. What's up? So, I've been watching all night, and I just can't help but notice that there seems to be a little chemistry between you and uh, Mr. Sam over there. Oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> Seriously? It's so obvious he has a thing for you. Yeah? Yes. 
and he keeps like leaning in towards you. And do you notice how he kept dropping the dice under your chair? Grab it. Hold on. Oh my God. Oh, I got, you got it. it. Yeah, hold on. You sure? Cause, okay. No, got it. Okay. That was not an accident. I, I just thought he drank way too much caffeine. Oh, no, no. No, he's immune to it by now. Oh. It's been around it enough. I guess I have won all of my saving throws tonight. Uh-huh. And I haven't rolled anything less than a 12. And every door I've gone to has been open. Every chest uh -huh. has been open. And he's killed Leo like four times. There you go. And See? That's exactly what I'm saying. So, believe me, I've been around Sam enough to know that he can be a little difficult to, you know, start a conversation with. You know. Yeah. I don't know him well enough to know exactly the best way to start talking to him. I could cast a love spell on him. No. Oh, you could do that. Or I know somebody who might have a little advice for you. Well, what do you think? I think you're about to do the one thing that I could never do, which is make Aubrey leave you. Are you insane? You're in this for more than two grand. Well, two grand now, but when I start making my money... What, you're gonna owe more? Dude, they call these pyramid schemes for a reason. Do you know who wins at a pyramid scheme? Well, the pharaohs. Do you know who the pharaoh is? Well, me, in this case. No, it's Lorraine. Oh, you're such an idiot sometimes. It kills me. Hey, I, I can't talk right now. Chase is yelling at me. All right, bye. Who was that? Iris. You mean the chick from the other day? Yeah. Why does she have your number? She's cool. You're engaged. She's a photographer. Aubrey and I don't have a wedding photographer yet. I figured she could help me out. So you figured that you're gonna hire the one that wants to drape her labia all over you. Yeah, that's real classy. Wouldn't you become the guy that only makes bad decisions? Just wait, man. You're gonna be surprised how this turns out. Yeah. One of us will be. Okay, things he hates. Puppets? Who doesn't? Weddings? Uh, glitter. Ugh, gets everywhere. Things he loves? Um, sarcasm. Anything with a cord. Like the lamp? It has a cord. Mountain Dew. So you and Astrid broke up, huh? Sucks. Yeah. I guess it's just because I'm so awesome. A lot of guys have that problem. Is that why you and Dean broke up? Dean and I were never really dating. We just had a lot of sex. And I found someone else to have sex with. Have you found anyone else to have sex with? We should probably get back to the game. <laughs> um, I thieved you a drink. I mean, I paid for it. Oh. <laughs> Thanks. I know you like Mountain Dew, but I hear that um, Sprite's really big in Japan. <laughs> you know what else is big in Japan? People who aren't Japanese because they're so tiny. They are so tiny. They're like little dwarfs. <laughs> Dwarf ninjas. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you're always welcome to come over my place. Elf sex? Yeah. I'll think about it. You've got to be kidding me. It's all about how you ask, my friend. We need to get you out of here. All about how you... Hey! I <laughs> just won the fifth level of Angry Birds. That's pretty cool. You like Angry Birds? <laughs>